All right, guys, challenge just started. He put on the timer for one hour, 30 minutes. And we're gonna get out to the spot where we caught some fish yesterday, or not yesterday, the day before. Right over here was the first spot we did good in. So we're gonna see what happens. One of the challenge gets, we have no clue yet, but we'll get to it. See you guys when we get there. All right, challenge has started. So a little side rule. The other day we did really well with striking caffeine shads and I kind of ran out of them because the durability kind of sucks. So we're only allowed to use zoom flukes or yum flukes for the first part of the challenge. I get the feeling Paul's color is going to be better and I'm going to get a backlash, nice. But uh, I do feel like Paul's color is better than mine. I do have pearl and I also have brown with black flick. So we'll see if his color really does work better. It is more like the caffeine shad color we were using, which is KVD Magic. But they both still might work because the fish here were pretty keyed in on fluke style baits. We'll see what happens. A lot of the fish were actually blowing it up on top water whenever you'd reel it over something or whenever it hit the surface. But neither of us have caught our first fish yet. It's been about two or three minutes. And sorry for any wind noise in advance. It's not super windy out here, but it might be enough to still annoy some people. <laughs> so, hopefully it's not too, too bad. First fish of the time. First fish of the challenge. First fish of the challenge. Let's go. Aye. Not a bad fish. I will take it. Okay, we're not going to do that, buddy. Little, actually, that's a pretty chunky fish. <laughs> that's a really fat, look at that thing. It's pretty fat. Not a little bad fish. And he's off. Sorry about that, guys. Just had to clean off the camera a little bit. So, we are in the lead. One fish to nothing. On the zoom fluke in black flick brown. Let's see if we can't get some more fish to get us into the lead there's another next cast next cast that's a half decent fish too oh he's in the grass never mind he's not that big next cast oh geez he's flashing everywhere okay it's a little bit bigger than the first one not as fat though but i'll take him not a bad fish and there she goes. So originally this 1v1 challenge was supposed to be Clearwater smallmouth. But uh, that didn't really work out because the area we were in does not have any clear water. And we had to drive an hour to get to clear water and I almost broke my neck. So yeah. We decided that we were gonna, gonna do that yesterday. And the rain did come eventually so it was kind of too impromptu to make anything work. But this pond that we found is definitely good enough for a 1v1 because there's a lot of numbers in here. Still, it's probably about 20 minutes into the challenge. It's still 2-0. Doesn't mean it's not going to change for Paul's favor. It probably will. But we're going to see because so far it's in my favor and we're pretty equally set. This pond is a really weird little place. There's actually a seaplane over there on the, I believe it's the east side. It's pretty weird. But, I mean, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It is kind of a longer pond rather than a wider pond. Uh, well, it's 2-1 now. So I'm gonna go and I'm just going to pull out a little bit of a secret weapon. Alright, first cast of the Jatterbait. Ooh. I don't know if that was a fish or not, it probably wasn't, but. It did feel kind of weird. Fish!
nice. My bad fish. Three two or three one, sorry. He's got another. So far. Nice. All right, last cast because I'm not having much confidence in this chatterbait anymore. I thought it might be a good idea, but meh. Wait, I don't have the spinner bait. Throw the underspin, guys. Is that a bass, Paul? Paul? Nice. Right there. Nice. Yeah, well, it sucks. I wish I had a spinner bait, but I don't actually. I thought I had one, but guess what? I didn't. Of course, you have a fish. No, it's a bass. I don't know, I'm just saying it. No, it's a big pickerel. That's a massive pickerel. Or is that a pike? I can't tell, that almost looks like a pike. Oh my god. So strong. Oh no, he's really deep in there. No! Oh. No, 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 no. Oh my god. What's that? Is it a pike? Is it a pickerel or a pike? Oh wow. Nice. All right, I'm gonna switch back to maybe a chatterbait. Because I, I don't trust this underspin. I know I caught one on it, but I don't exactly trust it as much. I do like the chatterbait for two reasons. One is because it's got some vibration, but two is because I know a lot of big fish like chatterbaits. So if I can get numbers and a big fish, that's gonna be great, because that's all I need to win. And a 1.79 is not too hard to beat. Oh, I just got moved. What the hell? What did I just say, first of all? And second, wow, that felt like a whack. It seemed like that fish hit when I was moving it faster, so I might move it a bit more aggressively now. Because I was kind of slow crawling it almost a little while ago, so we're going to start moving it. Moving it. I just got moved. Why? Why is there so much freaking algae in here? It makes it a better spot, but like, still, I can't even like cast without getting some kind of greenery on my lure. It's supposed to be white, not green. Still up in numbers. Paul's got three, I have four. He does have me up in species and size. I'll throw the Sierra around a little bit. Because we're up one, I suppose. And maybe it'll get us a size fish, too. Throw a little booyah, poppin' pad crasher. 
gonna throw it into these pads here. Maybe this, since it's midday. Oh. That might have been. No! Oh. Oh, that hurt my heart. Oh. Oh, God. Hopefully he's not off. Yeah, yeah there he is. Ah, ah, nice. Oh, yeah. oh, that was exciting. Okay, I'm gonna stop wasting my time in the pad field. One fish, I'll take it. We missed two more. I think even three actually. Pretty good frog fishing today. Alright, battery died there. Paul is up one right now, of course he is. The damn spinner bait, but I got him. Yep. Mm. Oh jeez. That fish, probably not bigger than Paul's. What? Oh, you only have four still? Oh, you got two pickerel, that makes sense now. So it's six four then, I guess, Never mind. I thought I was tied with them. Didn't catch anything while the camera was dead, of course. Oh, fish blew up right next to my bait. Not really what I'm looking for, that's probably just a bluegill, but if I somehow get really far ahead of Paul, I'm just going to start bluegill fishing, and this is just great. Like I'd catch a two-pounder, you know me. I don't know what else to throw, so I might as well. Here's the issue. One two pounder, not gonna happen. Uh, what'd you say? You caught two two pounders last time. You caught two two pounders. I didn't. And of course, he's got a fish. Bass. Six five. You mean seven five? What? Seven five. There she goes, folks. Seven five. We got 18 minutes left in the challenge. I'm up in numbers. Paul is up in species and size. He said it was one something. I don't know. I've caught some fish that were probably one and a quarter, maybe one and a half, but I doubt they'd be up to his. And knowing my luck, I'm not gonna catch much bigger than that. How much time do we have left, Paul? Paul. That feels pretty good sized fish. 
feels pretty decent. Oh. Oh no. Oh, Paul, I need that scale, buddy. I, I think so. Oh yeah. Hang on. And that's not a bad fish. Show it to me. I know, I know you wouldn't lie. No, you know I don't lie. And the camera's gonna see it anyway, yeah. so. Can't lie to the camera. Put it to that top gill. Easy, 179. Oh, 227. 227? That's what it held at for a second. Yep. 227. I will take a 227 any day of the week. Thank you, fish. Alright, so now you're winning. Yeah, I have eight bass and a 227. My chatterbait is kind of destroyed now, though, so. How much time in the challenge left? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Oh, that's a lot of time. I don't like that. That's too much time. I had it in my hand. Damn it. No. In my hand, in my hand, it counts. Nice. So it's eight five bass wise. Pickerel, bass tied, and a two twenty seven. I knew the chatterbait was a good idea for a bigger fish. I, that's the entire reason I chose it, was that it was a bigger fish bait. That can catch smaller fish too. 9.5. No. Time, okay. I do believe I have won the challenge, boys. High five. That's the best way to end the challenge is with a big clump of weeds on the chatterbait. So I'm going to say that that was a success. I caught biggest fish and most fish. We tied in species. I will take that any day of the week as I flick off a bug. Okay, let's go ahead over and say hi to him. So guys, we just finished up the challenge. I gotta say I liked it. It was a pretty nice fun challenge. I caught the 227 towards the very end, the last 10 minutes, which really came in clutch. And I got that big fish win. Not to mention that I think I won an eight or nine to six, or a seven, I believe, maybe something like that. I think it was six. But anyway, I won. Multi-species, I caught that pickerel, that little one that came in clutch as well. And we tied in that category, so I won two categories, tied the last one. But that's about it this video there's gonna be a second one after it probably just us fishing around me throwing the fluke a little bit maybe throwing the shatter bait still because that does seem to be a little bit of a ticket today uh but yeah so that's about all so i will see you guys in the next video and i hope you like this one Costa hat going on video going